A coronial inquest has identified a potential breakthrough as new details regarding the disappearance of Belgian backpacker Theo Hayes have emerged. Investigators have found a mystery person who exchanged WhatsApp texts with Belgian backpacker Theo Hayes on the night he vanished, a coronial inquest has heard. The development was described as a potential breakthrough and comes almost three years after the 18-year-old was last seen leaving the Cheeky Monkeys nightclub in Byron Bay at 11 p.m. on May 31, 2019. He was reported missing on June 6 after failing to arrive in Melbourne. He had not contacted family or friends and did not check out of his accommodation. The case received widespread national attention with an extensive air, land and sea search launch to find Mr. Hires. Now, counsel assisting the coroner Kirsten Edwards has revealed new information gathered from his mobile phone activity could help investigators uncover crucial details about his movements that night. There's been a potential breakthrough and I don't want to overstate it, your honor, but we know Theo was engaged in some WhatsApp activity just before 1am on the 31st of May, Ms. Edwards said, according to the Daily Telegraph. It was an area of intense focus by the police and by the family very early on in the investigation, she continued. A press conference was held, home affairs became involved, but nothing was able to be determined about that activity. We found somebody who was communicating with Theo on May 31, 2019, we're trying to ascertain whether that communication was close to that period just before 1 a.m. Theo Hires, a Belgian backpacker, disappeared from Byron Bay in May 2019. Says during the initial 2019 search around the Bayonne Bay Lighthouse, as well as Tallows Beach and the pass in the search for missing backpacker Theo Hires. On the night of Mr. Hire's disappearance, a security guard ejected him from the Cheeky Monkeys bar as he was under the impression the backpacker was approaching intoxication. The evidence to whether Theo was actually intoxicated is ambiguous, Ms. Edwards said. Location tracking data suggested he walked in the opposite direction of the wake-up. Hostile but took strange routes despite having his maps open. As part of his route, he passed a cricket ground before moving through a fire trail, then trailing off into bushland towards Tallow Beach. The last reliable data point placed Mr. Hires and his phone at Cozy Corner near the Cape Byron Cliffs. One working theory from police was Mr. Hires fell while trying to climb the cliffs near Cozy Corner and was swept out to sea. If the working theory is correct, his phone did not go with him because it was still working and transmitting data until about the afternoon of Saturday, June 1, 2019, Ms. Edwards said. Despite extensive searches by SES teams and police, his body was never found. His hat was recovered in bushland on the route he last took weeks after he disappeared. Says and police are pictured during the initial search for Theo Hires in thick bushland between the pass and Watergoes. Wednesday's inquest also heard from senior constable Louis Papworth, an inexperienced police officer, who was tasked with leading the initial search. Constable Papworth, who had only handled two minor searches prior to the hires investigation, said he would have done things differently if he had his time over. Why were you personally selected to coordinate the first day of Theo's search? Counsel assisting the coroner Kirsten Edwards asked. I believe I was just the on-call rescue operator that day," Papworth replied. Constable Papworth said the search teams were forced to use paper maps and pens, as he had no experience in a mapping tool that used GPS data to mark searched areas. He also admitted that volunteers weren't given a photo of Theo. Theo Hires' father Laurent Hires is pictured embracing community members at the Byron Bay Golf Course. The development came just hours after Deputy Premier and Police Minister Paul Toole announced a new $500,000 reward in a bid to revive the case. Theo was a young man who had his entire life ahead of him and his family cannot rest until they know what happened to him, he said. The pain of losing a loved one is bad enough, but the mystery surrounding this case only adds to that pain. Police investigating this case need our help to provide that crucial piece of the puzzle that can bring some comfort to the family and friends of Theo.
If you know or think of anything, no matter how small, please phone Crime Stoppers.